uh, my link to Switzerland is very strong because, um, first of all, I, I live here since 16 years and I became Swiss citizen two years ago, so I am f French and Swiss, double nationality, so um, it's a very familiar country, I feel home here. Oh, where I was when I was 23, my God. Um, 23, I was just finishing my study in the Paris Opera School, my singing study, and I won um, the first prize of the Neue Team uh, competition in Germany, and that was kind of a, the start of international activities for my career. <laughs> so I was really wondering what to put in the suitcase today, because Verbier, you know, the mountains, uh, weather is very changing, every hour is ch different. So I always put light clothes, sunglasses, but also an umbrella. <laughs> You know, it's really moving for me to be in very busy this year with Michael Titson Thomas because um, I met him something like 20 years ago. He invited me to sing all the Mahler symphonies at Alto Pass for his farewell uh, in the London Symphony Orchestra. And that's how we met. And so um, I didn't sing this Mahler third with him since then. And um, we came back in contact through my conducting, actually, because he, he was so nice. He was watching uh, something I was conducting, and, and then he, 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 get, he got in touch. And, uh, and then came the idea to also make some music together again. And uh, I think I would be very, very moved to see him tomorrow. Well, when last time I came to the festival, it was uh, for a concert with my own orchestra, with Orfeo 55. And, uh, well, it was not really awkward moments, but it was really funny the first rehearsal because uh, I totally forgot we were so high in the mountains and I started to sing and uh, I, I started to change the breathing. And my orchestra was just looking like, oh, you, why do you breathe here and here? And they were so surprised and they said, oh, sorry, I need two or three days to adapt to the altitude because, you know, it, it takes really the, the breathing for singers. So it's very hard to sing here. Well, if I would have a carte blanche as a conductor. Um, well, I think I, I, you know, there is many options, but I, I, I would probably love to conduct the heart of my repertoire, which is the German romantics or French music, or maybe some Brahms symphonies or Dvorak, or maybe combined with some Mozart. I don't know. It would be fun. What's my personal motto? I think I have at least hundreds. <laughs> uh, let's choose one for today. Um, Maybe never stop daring. Super, merci beaucoup. Merci. Parfait.